In this episode, we're going to build a fence. Isn't it weird that sword fighting is called fencing? Like, this is fencing. This is also fencing. How are you, you supposed to teach kids that? So, we're going to build a little patio area outside the garage. By the way, I'm going to do this whole fence without stringing it and without pouring concrete. It's the quick way. Everybody will shit on me for it, especially professional fence builders. But you cost more because you're super good at it. String it and level it. I'll show you how to make it good and level enough. I don't, I'm not going to pull any strings. So what you're looking at here is I attach two 2x4s to the wall through the stucco with stucco bolts to then screw the fence onto. So the fence is fastened to the house, so to speak, because the two kicker boards are securely fastened with these nice blue stucco bolts into the house. And inside the stucco are the big giant king studs. I'm using concrete piers for the posts instead of pouring concrete. So there we go, the first panel is complete and it's leveled and plumbed to the house. Once I have the post fastened to the concrete pier, then I just fasten the fence panel to the post. And since this is the corner post, I'll fasten it flush. Now for the corner. For this corner, I just muscled the whole fence panel over there and leaned it up against this panel that's already set. I use, these are typically, uh, I had these laying around. I used them already over there on the stucco. You know, they're masonry bolts, self tappers. But I just had a bunch of them and they're long enough, so I used them on this side too to go in or to wood to wood, wood on wood action. See the gap, if people can peek through, I'll just fill that, just put a little, another piece of cedar on there. I'm fine, I hope you'll be able to peep through and see boobs. On the inside, I had these things from an old project, so you can see they're too long, but I used them anyways. Put one up there, and I put one down there. Free. Then to run it out to that hole, which I already had pre-dug because I had an excavator, which you probably saw in another video. So I just dug the holes because it's way easier with an excavator than it is with an exca shovel. Exca shovel, that's bad. Sorry. Cloudy. <laughs> Wampus in there, but you don't have to have it perfectly level. I'll get it as level as I can, but check this out. So here's my four by four, six foot in length. And I'll adjust it in a minute, but says that you can see it's already just chucking it in there. It's fairly close. It's gotta go. It's gotta go that way a little bit. Gotta go that way a little bit. It has to go that way just a little bit. But as you can see down here, it could be flexible. Slide it, front, lean it, whatever I want. And it's still solid because it's concrete. So it's quicker. Things have a little cutout under it, 
in the concrete. Okay, so this is gonna make you purists cringe. I am not gonna level it and I'm not gonna plumb this post. And I'll show you how and why. First, I eyeballed it. Now, it may, it looks super level to me. It might be off a little bit, but also, I trust that the factory, when they make these edges of these fences, because these are prefab fence panels, that this is in line with this brace, is in line with this brace. So what I'm saying is the factory has made this straight up and down. So this one's straight, because it's flat against the wall of the house. The factory ends. So thus, if it's flat, all flat against the house, then it's flat and level. So it's plumb and level to the house. Then this is plumbed and leveled to this fence panel. So if these ends are plumbed, then that means most likely the whole fence panel is level. And then with this fence post, and then with this fence post, you can see it's loose right now. And I'm not gonna plumb it, I'm just gonna put it half and half this fence panel because I have to put the next fence panel here so right here I'm just gonna attach it that again these blue concrete anchors so I'm just gonna put this halvesies like that and put it in there so let's see if I can do this and film it's like a, like a circus act right. there's about half hmm. I'm just gonna stop there's no fucking way I can do this and film and I don't have a tripod forgot it but I forget a lot of stuff see I mean the, the camera lens is probably skewing it but that looks level to that and I know the HVAC guys leveled that so there you go it's level it's fully level added a gate. So I just bought a kit. Comes with these types of hinges. There, one there, and this side. That's that way. And there's the thing. You just drill here. So you just, this is one piece, this little thing here, the hole. So you just drill that. Then I had to put a spacer board in here. So that's these four screws holding the spacer board on. This just, this is the hinge with a pin. Drops down into the holy hole, hole of holies. And then this just goes on here. And it, it's a kit. You can buy it. I forget where I bought it. You can get it on Amazon, probably. Yeah. yeah.